Order! Order! I beg to move Amendment A, subject to the House agreeing to a motion providing Point for... Point of order, Mr Speaker. You will know that page 448 of Erskine May states, it is not in order to refer to persons in... Politics. Who needs it? It's dusty, fusty, complicated, boring. Ugh, not for the likes of us. Better to ignore it and let the members of Parliament get on with it, right? Except, there's just one problem. Politics affects everything, from the cost of going to uni, to whether it's legal to have a relationship with someone of the same sex. And if you don't know what's being talked about, you can't have a say in any of it. Here's the good news. You don't have to watch Question Time or wade through the newspapers. There's a website that does all the hard work for you. Theyworkforyou.com You don't know who your MP is? Put in your postcode, and it'll show you. Now you know who's representing you in Parliament, speaking and voting on your behalf, let's see how they voted. And if I'm really interested in something, say skateboarding, and I want to know if it's ever been mentioned in Parliament, I can search for it and see every time it's come up. Even more than that, I can ask They Work For You to send me an email if it's mentioned again in the future. Hmm, now, if I have some strong feelings about the way my MP spoke or voted, I can click on this little button and send them an email. Thanks to this other site, writetothem.com, made by the same people. So there you go, the pro tips that let you keep up with politics, without having to deal with the boring parts. And here's what you need to remember. Theyworkforyou.com. Inform yourself. Writetothem.com. Get your opinions heard.